Thanks for tuning in. This week in the shop, I'm putting together a musical percussion table. Stay tuned to see how I do that. Before I begin, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Musical Furnishings. That's where I've been posting videos of commissions that I've received in the last couple years, all of which have music as part of the project. This musical table will have 11 musical instruments. Each musical instrument will be built within a wooden box. Now this woman in Chicago that commissioned me to build this table, when she receives it, she'll set up the table without the musical instruments within it, and then she'll place each box however she most desires the musical instruments to be arranged. So she'll be setting up, effectively, her own custom drum set. One of the top priorities of this design is that the tabletop remains flat. But that brings up a challenge. How do we have 11 musical instruments underneath the table ring out with sound from an action above? Then I had an idea. This is, this is actually the idea, a teller bell. It's perfect for this challenge. Here, this is what it looks like if you take the bell off. You can imagine, it's what you would think it would be. Uh, a button from the top and then it stri strikes a hammer. If you stay tuned, you can see the different types of sounds I can make from that simple action. <laughs> Another instrument, the BB shaker. Starts with a can and then you put just the right amount of BBs in. And then there is a box that's twice the length of the normal boxes so it can still fit in the grid and it is the snare drum. And depending on how you set these snares, you can make a pretty good snare sound. And just as a little self-demeaning side note, when I went to purchase the wires that go underneath a snare drum for my snare drum, I didn't know the correct term. That's because the correct term is snare. Sometimes life gives you a little IQ test and you fail it. Woo! The hi-hat. And then there's the huge cajon drum. And it is a ported drum. It has a floor that isn't on here yet, but I'm gonna put a floor in with a hole in it and that'll lower the pitch. The last three instruments are bongos, which are simply boxes with that thin sheet of strong plywood on the top. Thanks for watching this video and there'll be more projects coming up soon, so stay tuned.